I just bought this uh, 2006 Saab 93 convertible a couple of weeks ago and one of the things I didn't like about it is that there's no good place to put a GPS up on the dash. If I put one up here it blocks the uh, SID up in the front and uh, just no, no good place. So what I did, I made myself this little frame. It's uh, made out of wood and I'm not going to go into detail about how I made it. Um, it was kind of a pain in the ass and I took a table saw and a band saw and a hacksaw and a bunch of other stuff. Um, but I made myself this nice little frame. I covered it with um, fake imitation genuine Naga hide leather. Um, and it's going to sit right in here like this. Right down here behind the, uh, in front of the, the, the gear stick. Um, and once I get it installed, I'm going to have it all wired up so the wires are behind it. And here I'm going to show you how I'm going to install it. First thing you got to do um, is remove the uh, climate control unit. I've already got it partially removed. Um, the way to do it is just take a screwdriver or like a plastic blade. Um, if you're using a screwdriver, put something soft behind it like a paper towel and you just wedge it back in behind the edges and you can pry this thing out. Just going back and forth from side to side, you can gently pry it out. I've already got it pried loose, um, so I can just pull this on out. And with that out, there's two connectors on the back of it. Um, the connectors have this little thing on the end, a little colored piece, where if you pull it out, pull this thing out, then the connector will slide off. And if you pull out the other side, um, there's one on the other side, you pull it out, and that connector slides off too. So now I've got the entire climate control unit pulled out. Okay, now the next thing I need to do, um, down here on the bottom, the, the, there's like a little tray that, that has the uh, cigarette lighter adapter and stuff. I need to remove this because to get the uh, CD player out, you need to remove the, um, the, the cigarette lighter thing. So to do that, down inside here, right down inside here, there's a little tab that you can feel with your finger. Actually, I think you can. Yeah, you can feel it with your finger. When you press in on it, you can feel it moving in. You actually need to pull it out. So I'm going to stick my, I'm going to actually shift this in the ear here to give myself some room. Turn off the radio. And then where that tab is, I need to pull out on the edge of it. By pulling it out, I wedge the screwdriver in front of it, pull it out, and then this thing will come right out. And then with that pulled out, um, let me get it totally out of the way. Let me see here. Oh well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna disconnect anything just yet. Um, I'm just gonna leave it sitting here. I think I'm gonna have to cut this little zip tie. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I need to get out of my way. So, I'll cut the zip tie holding the cable in place. And I'll just unplug these two connectors and get them out of the way. In fact, um, I can leave these unplugged actually. I'm going to hardwire the GPS into these wires and this thing is going to be hidden so I don't even really need to use this. But I'm just going to, this, this tray needs to be in there because that's what holds the, helps hold the GPS in place. I'll just set that to the side. Um, now to get the, uh, get the CD player out, on either side of this thing on top of it, I don't know what this is, it's part of the stereo, I guess, um, but there's there are little tabs, little flat tabs, and if you stick a screwdriver between the edge of the tab and the, the car, you can see that they pry outward, and there's a little uh, metal bit down there that's holding it in place, and you got to go back and forth from one side to the other, pulling the tabs out, and then sliding this forward, and once the tabs are past their little notch, this entire thing will slide right out. And here you can see the tab that's holding it in. And once I get that pulled out, I can disconnect the antenna cable on the back. And there's a connector down here. Each one of these connectors, you got to figure out how they disconnect. Sometimes you got to squeeze them, or you got to pull on a piece of it. But this one right here, let me see, there's a piece there that I pull and that rolls forward and the entire thing comes out and that leaves this one connector right there that 
it looks like it just there we go the little tab that you push on so now i've got the cd player and the stereo removed all right so now that i get that stuff out what i'm going to do on this cable right here which was going to my cigarette lighter um, i need to figure out which one is positive and which is negative which i'll do with the multimeter and then I've got to make sure that when I tap into them, I know which is positive and negative because what I'm going to do is use some wire taps. And then th this is a thing I got at Radio Shack. It's just a, a, a splitter. And the reason I've got to use it, um, it's a cigarette lighter splitter. The reason I've got to use it is because I'm using a Garmin 1490T, or it's actually a 1490LMT GPS. And Garmin is real picky with their... Uh, GPS is they won't let you just um, run power straight from this cord. I can't cut off the end. Can't cut off the end of this and just use the cord. There's some circuitry in there that changes the voltage going into the GPS. So I'm going to have to tap this right here into my cigarette lighter wires and then slide this into that, tape it all up so that it's not going to come apart when it's buried back in there. And then uh, I'll plug the other end of this into the GPS and then put everything back together. And uh, let me get going on that, and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, now before I actually wire this thing up, what I need to do is do a little hole in here um, to feed these wires through. Because if I don't have the hole, then the wires can't get to the wires for the uh, cigarette lighter adapter. So I need to feed these wires through the hole, uh, which might be harder than I'm thinking. But I'll feed those wires through the hole so that when I plug this in, I'll be able to get to the wires that I'm using on the cigarette lighter adapter. So now I've got my my uh, my wires made up, the connections made up. I got the cigarette lighter plugged back in. Don't want to stay in. Got that plugged back in, and you can see I've got the little green LED on my uh, Garmin uh, power adapter. So that's working good. Um, now I just need to put everything back together, fold the wires up, and stuff it all back into place, and it, it should be done. All right, so reinstalling everything is the opposite of the way I took it out. First, I've got to put the uh, CD player slash stereo in, uh, which means connecting up these connectors. There's my antenna connector. Other connector for the stereo. So all that stuff is in there. I need to hold these wires up out of the way while I slide this in. And there's a little rail that guides this. It sits right there. There we go. Now I've got the cable that's missing right there. You know, make sure these are pulled out, otherwise they'll be stuck back there. And I'll have to pull everything out again. It just slides back in on that rail. It'll snap into place. I've had this out once before, and what I noticed was these wires, they tend to bunch up back there and block not letting it go in so if you push them up from below that'll slide right right back in and step into place um, next I can put this in that snaps into place and then my climate control unit back into place. I just thought of something. I've got my key in the off position, but I still have power. I probably should have plugged those in with everything off. It's working now. Yeah, it's good. not good to plug in connectors with the power on. And I'm going to wait. This needs to be pushed back in all the way. I'm going to wait because uh, it's kind of hard to get out. I just want to get the piece in here installed um, before I push this back in because that's one of the harder pieces to remove. So now all i got to do is take all these wires wad them up back here
get my GPS unit. It's already mounted in the frame I built. And then I'm going to make it look prettier. It's got some wrinkles in the fabric. Once I get all that worked out, I'll make it look prettier. But I get those fabrics, get those fabric wrinkles ironed out. But when I power it up, my garment comes on automatically, and it'll do its thing. And that's it. I'll get these wrinkles ironed out, and uh, it'll look great. It'll look better than sitting up, sitting up.